right, so I'm never gonna talk about politics with anyone ever again. You know why? Oh, dude, wait, no, I think <laughs> I've seen this one. <laughs> right when you brought it up, I was like, damn, I know. He's like, hey, uh, have you seen one of the rants? And I was like, I don't know. I've seen a lot of your rants. I don't know okay, which so, one in particular. And then right so, when he said, I'm not going to talk about politics, I was like, ah, I know which one you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I usually do like these rants on my like personal story right like my, my personal ig so this is what happened okay so i was talking about like politics with like someone who is very knowledgeable of politics and i really respect their knowledge okay mm -hmm. so i just all i did was ask them hey who are you gonna vote for mm -hmm. are, you, are you voting for trump and he was like no biden and i was like Oh, you know, I think Biden's fucking stupid. He's uh -huh. like, just like complete moron and just doesn't know what he's doing. Uh -huh. And then this guy was like, what makes you think that? You're watching like too much IG and TikTok and all this stuff. Oh. I watch hours oh, of shoot. podcasts uh -huh. and I watch hours of political debates about uh -huh. like government things. Oh, shit. And I was like, whoa, this guy's coming off really strong, man. Yeah, you're like, you're too then, serious right now. <laughs> and then, I, I never talk about politics, okay? Uh -huh. I never, because I know these where cases, goes, yeah, right? Where it goes, All yeah. these cases. Where it, it doesn't such, end well. It doesn't end well. Such sheep mentality. Uh -huh. Why do I talk about sheep mentality? Here, I'll talk about it, right? Uh -huh. Sheep mentality is because you see all these, like, people who are, like, fans, sport fans. Oh, my God, I love the Lakers. Oh, my God, I love Dodgers. What is another sport, right? Like, what's another football? Yeah, football, you know, whatever yeah, fucking basketball. Fo I don't watch sports because of this. Why? What is this? This is wh wh what I'm talking about here is because these people, mm -hmm. they're so worshiping a god. Mm -hmm. My team is better. Your team sucks. That's like saying your god fucking sucks. And then why do these people fucking fight at these sport events, right? It's because they're like, what the fuck did you talk about my god for? Yo, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. It's kind of the same as like you know it's, events it's and same. DJs, right? It's like the DJ. same. Oh yeah, DJs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, events. Oh yeah. Hey, what you say about my DJ? Zed, Zed is so much better than Elenium. Yeah. And then you so see all these, like, you see all these slaves just, <laughs> just worshiping, sheep, just like, worshiping <laughs> their gods, bro. Oh and it's God. like on Facebook, uh -huh. subtle, subtle Asian ravers or whatever, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. rave exchange. You see all these people like talking about like, no, this. DJ is better uh -huh. or like they're like arguing and debating no this DJ is actually better because he does bass and uh -huh. not only does he do bass but he also does trance uh -huh. and dubstep and house I'm like what the fuck who the fuck cares just yeah. listen to the fucking music bro oh my god what do, you, what do you think about this like when they're so like you know hell bent on like worshipping them they're like oh my god you know I think you guys are fucking losers, man. You guys are so loserish. Who, has, who to, has that much time to, to obsess to over something? To be someone who worships a DJ. To uh -huh. be someone who worships an old man. Dude. Oh my god. I'm like, okay. Are you that bored e with even if life? even if you worship Trump so much, uh -huh. I will still say the same thing. And the haters will be like, oh, you know what? You're against Biden. You're what? a Trump supporter, then, eh? Uh -huh. I'm like, no. I'm not a, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Biden supporter. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about politics at all. Mm -hmm. All I'm just going to say on this podcast is politics is a fucking joke. That's it. I, I'm just trying to say that Biden is a joke. That's mm -hmm. it. And, and, and this and guy, then, this guy turned it into a whole on like debate, right? Or what was he doing? He was like, yeah, this is a whole like, where are you getting your facts from? It's like, oh, you're you watching watch too much. much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you need to know more about this. And I'm just worried that you're not understanding anything. And blah, blah, blah. I feel like you're brainwashed. Everything, he actually said all these things, by the way. The whole focus, what it diverted from, it was me asking him, hey, are you going to vote for Trump? To all of a sudden. It went to like, like dissing you, right? You, you, yeah, you, you, you don't me. know. In the, you, 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 yeah, you, yeah. you, you. <laughs> it wasn't Panda, about the topic anymore. You are, just... you are incompetent as a human being because you hate Biden. <laughs> You are incompetent because you're a Trump supporter. By the mm -hmm. way, I never said I fucking supported Trump. All I said is that I used to hate Trump, but mm -hmm. honestly, after seeing Biden, I'm like, fuck, dude, you know, Biden's whack. That's all I think. 
And then he was like, oh, no. Where are you getting your facts from? This, you know, it, it becomes a whole, oh, I got to defend my God. My God is my savior. It's Biden. And th that's why it uh -huh. all ties back to this whole Worshiping. sheep mentality. Yeah. Sheep mentality. And just not even being, like, why would you worship someone and role model this person when you can be your own role model? This mm. person actually is kind of like a role model to me. But, mm. you know, if, if you want to be an actual good role model, then you have to really talk to people with respect. You mm -hmm. can't be talking to people like, hey, you disrespected my God. You disrespected my role model. So fuck you. Yeah. Dude, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to role model you like that if you're going to give me all this fuck you. Yeah. And I'm not going to role model you even more when I know you're like a sheep like this. Mm -hmm. So when I see people who are always about like, oh yeah, Trump, Team Trump, Team Biden, oh, Team Lakers, Team Celtics, uh, Team this, Team that. I'm like, dude, you guys will never go anywhere in life. Like, no one will ever become, you will never become anyone's role model. It's like the people who consume content, right? They're always yeah. swiping all the fucking time, every mm -hmm. day. I'm guilty of this too. I'm not, I'm not perfect. We, we, we all consume content. Yeah, we all it's, consume it's, content. It's hard not to consume content when yeah. you're on your phone. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then I find that, I find it as a way of winding down, but I try to mitigate the amount of screen mm -hmm. time I do, for sure. Yeah. Because I know, and I've always had this thought since I was a kid. I was like, you know, if I'm the type to consume content, ba back then it wasn't content. Back then it was movies. If I'm the type to understand these celebrities inside and out, I'm a fucking loser. Who am I going to inspire if I'm already inspired and like just role modeling this person mm -hmm. and like worshiping, bowing down to them? I'm yeah. not going to inspire anyone. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm going to refrain from understanding any drama with these celebrities as much as possible. I didn't even know who the fuck Tom Hanks was until like two years ago or so. I was like, oh, Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump. Oh, okay, okay, for, for sure. Okay, oh, that's the guy. Oh, yeah, that's sa the guy. Saving okay. Private Ryan, the, the fucking the teacher that died. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay. I was, I was like, oh, oh, what the fuck? Who the fuck is Tom Hanks? Uh -huh. Is that Tom Cruise? <laughs> that's no cap. Impossible. No that's cap. Impossible. No cap, bro. I was like, I would get confused of this. Uh -huh. And I purposely didn't look into it because... I don't want to be those two d types of people who just look into these celebrities and mm -hmm. become nobodies mm -hmm. because that's that's what you that's what you are pretty much you're fucking nobody you who, invest all your time and energy into like learning and like following what this guy does like yeah you're not you're not building yourself up at any point I feel like you're just like yeah. trying to be this guy and this guy isn't even perfect like everyone has flaws and then you're just like kind of you're, you're not bettering yourself or anybody around you by just like idolizing or worshiping one person you know yeah so i'll tie it back into like politics i think politics is a mm. whole fucking sham it's like there's no right or wrong this person started saying well i feel like you're uneducated about this situation and i feel like you need to know more mm -hmm. because i feel like i'm worried that you're falling down this blah blah, blah. and i was like what the like so you're telling me there's a right and wrong with politics. No, oh, if you're already uh -huh. instilling that upon me, oh shoot, uh -huh. then there's already something fucking wrong with you. All I'm I was trying to do is because I respect you. I'm just trying to get for some some information. information yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why are you voting for Biden? Uh -huh. Why do you respect Biden so much? Instead of giving you the information, he's like, you don't know anything. Yeah, <laughs> you're a little kid, bro. <laughs> yeah, you don't know anything. I'm like, <laughs> I how am like, I gonna respect the... you then, bro? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so whenever. I knew from I was a little kid that there, these politic talks mm -hmm. are so stupid that I never I was just like even if I do have a view on politics mm -hmm. like if I do be, have like a conservative or like more liberal view yeah. I'm not going to consider myself more democratic or republican mm -hmm. I'm just going to be me like mm -hmm. why don't why the fuck would you want to label yourself like in Facebook political views democrat political views conservative yeah Republican, whatever fucking bullshit. Yeah, Why? I think, I think for me, like, yeah, dude, like... <laughs> Why don't you just be yourself? Why don't you just be you, you know? Exactly. What the fuck is this whole... I like, think that's too much for, every, like... NPCs. NPCs can't process that. NPCs, They bro. can't. They can't. Total NPCs, Yeah, they man. can't. Like, they, they can't think above that level. Like, Total it's, it's NPCs. like... Yeah. It's like... You know those people who are, like... Uh, those girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> those girls, they're like... Oh, my God. Joe Jonas, back then when Nick Jonas oh, and Joe Jonas became big, like, that's oh my, my husband. 
I'm like, oh my god, you're living in a fantasy world. Delusional. Delusional. <laughs> Number one, you're never gonna get jo- Jonas ever uh-huh. because there's no way unless you actually become a celebrity yourself, which is a very very zero point zero one percent chance so, uh-huh. of happening. You're never gonna meet this guy. So you're living in a fantasy world. You're just worshiping this guy. And while you have a boyfriend, he's getting cucked by this Joe Jonas. She's yeah. like getting fucked by you. And then she's like thinking about Joe Jonas. Oh my God, he's my husband, but you're just my boyfriend. Oh, I would marry Joe Jonas any day oh my other goodness, than you. Bro. I was like, what the fuck is this shit, dude? You, you've real. become... So whenever I come across like a girl, I, I actually dated a girl a while back who was super into like sports. She was like, oh, this guy's my husband. Worship a team or like she a worships player? this one dude. She's like, he's my hus- husband. <laughs> I'm not going to say who. Uh-huh. Um, but she she's say like, oh yeah, this guy's my husband. And I'm like, what about me? She's like, mm, yeah, I would still like pick him over you. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude. So, <laughs> Dude these types of people are so enslaved uh-huh. by this mentality of like a, a god that they're like yeah i'm gonna disrespect everyone else that moment i just dipped out i was yeah. like fuck that shit uh-huh. man. done i'm not like the type of incel or simp to just keep going on and on and let you disrespect me like that what kind of shit is that you know so i was just like I, I would keep telling her you know you're not really affectionate she's like no i'm really affectionate i'm like this is affectionate Tell, oh, telling shoot. you telling someone you're dating that mm-hmm. another person is is their husband is affectionate. That, that's oh, horrible like, oh my goodness. and it, this all goes hand in hand uh-huh. same thing as this person that i respected with this whole politics yeah. because all he knows how to do is disrespect because he worships someone same thing mm-hmm. all these people who worship someone like a political figure yeah. who worships any financial figure who worships like a team player anyone all they know how to do is disrespect. And all they know how to do is just follow. They're just followers. And they're just worshipers. They're not their own person. So this is a message to everyone. Mm. Be your own person. Stop saying, oh, I'm Republican. I'm Democrat. Mm. No, I think, yeah. Are, are, are you, then does that mean you're tied to all of these things that Democrats believe? Like, for example, if you're a Democrat... You're tied to just giving the government more money. But we we do for need no people cost. like this. We do need people like this, like Trump supporters. We need Trump supporters to boost his, you know, like presidential campaign up, you know, like because without like these supporters or these NPC like people who follow and support you, like I feel like it's kind of hard to go against the Matrix without any supporters, you know. Well, you're probably gonna get some hate from that because you're now you're you're saying you're a Trump supporter, right? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying, for example, like Trump supporters, right? Uh, like. He needs his supporters to help boost his presidential campaign because his supporters are ride or die hard, you know? Yeah. Without his supporters, like, remember when they overran the White House? Without his supporters or, like, this stuff, like, Trump is nobody, you know? Well, let's we need in, people who worship Let's actually him. get into that. It's, um, what's the current date today? It's, like, um, July, what? 21st. 21st? Mm-hmm. Actually, just a couple hours ago, Joe Biden. Dalen, do you know this? Which one? Joe Joe Biden today. He just dropped out the race. I like, heard something you know about that? he was going to like a couple of days ago of like COVID no, or we just, something. We just got the mail. Like he dropped out of the race. And then oh, there's all these yeah. news articles. Yeah. Oh, shoot. He oh. dropped out of the race. Today. Yeah. So so Trump is no one's going against Trump? I, I think it's, it's I mean, like, I'm I'm pretty sure there's those smaller guys, right? Not Kam- you know Kamala I don't know, but Harris you know, like or? I think that it's it's pretty much over. Like it's Trump, dude. So, Shoot. unless, like, Trump actually gets assassinated, like, this time. But, I mean, I'm sure his Secret Service is doing a better job now. <laughs> there, so, yeah. Hey, did you see that one video of that one Secret Service girl? Where, like, she couldn't even holster her gun? And she was, like... Oh, dude. She was looking around, like, like she was lost. And they're, like, dude. how did she get hired? Dude, like, you know, how did she get hired? Was know? it the same girl who was, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think so, right? Like, he was, she was right next to Trump, and she couldn't even holster her gun. And people were, like... Who gave her a job? You know, they were like zooming in on her. And then like she was walking around like she didn't know to, to have her gun out or not. She was like, uh, she was always like, you know, like looking around like she was lost. I was like, oh, my goodness, bro. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not mis- I'm not trying to be misogynistic, but, you know, some I think some people, they just are not fit like genetically mm. because passing down from generation to generation, yeah. like men have already been trained of like that life or death situation gang flight members, or flight right yeah fight or flight yeah gang members are usually males 
right yeah so we're yeah. always on the like i've i've had gang experience before mm-hmm. so i'm always on the fucking problem like oh shit like are, are people like i know i'm in a bad vicinity mm-hmm. i know like you know it's that's how i grew up yeah but like if you have like just some sally over here who just gets hired secret service mm-hmm. because she has a good resume she was never taught to look left and right everywhere she goes yeah. she's probably just taught like i know how to be a good employee Mm-hmm. I know how to follow directions, but are you vigilant? Are you vigilant that you can see everything? So I, I think men are, are better at this, generally speaking, right? Yeah. It's a fact because men are, are put into those situations. Men get into fights more, right? So men are just more violent. And because men are more violent, then, of course, they're going to watch out for other men, too, because they know how violent they could get that other men could get like that, too. Yeah, there was there was one video that I was trying to find that... <clears throat> That was talking about that. It's all good. Um, but uh-huh. this whole thing with like the sheep mentality, right? Like sheep, sheep are just the scourge to society. I feel like they're just all they're doing is just going with whatever their their god is saying. That they're just like whoever talks shit, I'm gonna get at this person. You're not making money like that, bro. Yeah, and I feel all like, you're doing is just arguing and being a fucking keyboard warrior, bro. Yeah, like, I feel like these people, they don't have their own, like, thoughts or opinions. Like, you know, like, they don't have their own, like, they're kind of just aimlessly just, like, following whatever they're doing and then just, like, supporting them. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what he's doing is good. Yeah, you know? Yeah. It's like, I mean, I mean that goes with Trump a second supporters, look. Yeah, too. Yeah, take that, a second, like. That goes with Trump you... supporters, too, right? Uh-huh. Like, remember when COVID. Yeah. Like, Trump was just, like, trying to just, like, go, like, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's not yeah. anything big. Uh-huh. And all these people were still, like, oh, Trump is the best. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, he, he's doing so much with COVID, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, he, he actually let in a couple people in, you know? Uh-huh. Like, so so he, he he said that it wasn't a big issue. And then, you know, he still let flights happen. And then, you know, so I, I think that there's, on both sides, there's going to be idiots all the time with, uh-huh. like, worshiping their god. So that goes with anything like that goes with like sports that goes with like political figures that goes with like NPCs. Yeah. You can't get rid of NPCs. There's always NPCs going to be lying around. And then what we want to try and promote is like, you know, try to like, you know, have your own thoughts a little bit, you know, try to like, (laughs) this is why I want to promote. This is why I want to promote. Get to fucking work. Stop looking into all this stupid shit about your idol. Get to work, make some money. Mm hmm. Become your a, own idol. Yeah, become your own idol, man. Basically, yeah. Stop being a little bitch and just going like, oh, mm-hmm. oh my god, Biden is my lover. Oh my god, Trump's my lover. Any of that is just whack, dude. Yeah, it is, dude. <laughs> Honestly, oh. it's so dumb. I, I, dude, back in middle school, exactly what you're saying. Like, oh, boyfriends, but then they're like, oh yeah, no, but I'll drop you for him, like my husband <laughs> or something. I'm like, what Sheep, kind of bro. Sh- shit is this what kind of sheep is this for real i'm just like damn you a white sheep huh <laughs> not even a black sheep <laughs> you a white sheep <laughs> god damn all right man well the, the the whole point of this is not for me a rant i mean it is partially mm-hmm. but also i do think that so many people they're not cognizant of how much of a sheep they are mm-hmm. and like if you really want to be a somebody in this world Stop fucking idolizing. Stop scrolling YouTube. Get off this video, actually. Once mm. you watch this video, get off this video. Stop scrolling and be your own boss. Be your own idol. Be your own role model and be your own god. Yeah. That's the only way to escape the matrix, guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unless unless that's what you strive for. If, unless you've already accepted reality that, you know, I'm a follower and an I can never become my own role model. And I actually enjoy watching all this crap that celebrities do and yeah you know what go ahead knock yourself out you know what was even more funny Mm -hmm. remember twilight oh team jacob team Mm -hmm. edward oh my goodness these are fictional characters dude yeah no that brings up such a big point because that was instilled to us like at a very early age like in middle school right (laughs) holy shit they already had us thinking like npcs back then dude and then there would be people actually voting for this yeah on websites or shit dude i'm just like dude what the? i was so confused when i was in middle school i was like wait are these actual people and I, i was like why are they actually voting for this and looking into i'm like this is crazy dude yeah this is crazy anyways That's all I got to say, man. Peace out, guys.